It is the 16th of May, 2016. My name is Ralph Turchiano. I'm here to share with you the top three health headlines of the past seven days. Starting off with number one, believe it or not, it is called the Reanima Project, meaning back from death, Reanima Project to try and wake the dead brain. Yes, you heard me right. It may be a prelude to the coming zombie apocalypse, but let's get right into the real research to begin with. Now, two biotech companies will attempt to bring some measure of life into the brains of 20 people in India with the application of stem cells, individuals who happen to be brain dead. As they stated, we were very excited about the approval of our protocol, said the CEO, with the convergence of the disciplines of regenerative biology, cognitive neurosciences, and clinical resuscitation, we are posed to delve into an area of scientific understanding previously inaccessible with existing technologies. Kind of sounds Frankenstein-ish, so to say, but yes, they are going to be bring back dead brains or the brains of people who may be clinically dead. Number two. All right. Common antacid linked to accelerated vascular aging. We're talking very common. This is a class of an antacids called protein pump protein pro on pump inhibitors, such as, as they pointed out here, Nexium. What the researchers are saying is these antacids were never meant to be used long term. In their case, they said inappropriate use is probably around 70%. They also said as follows, chronic use of some drugs for heartburn and gastroesophageal reflux called GERD speeds up the aging of blood vessels. This accelerated aging in humans could lead to increased cardiovascular disease vascular dementia and renal failure, say the researchers. To take from this, if there's anything else you could possibly do to alleviate heartburn, please do it. Don't use these medications on a regular basis is their warning. Number three, omega-3 lowers childhood aggression in the short term. This worked actually pretty fast. Now to quote the researchers, they say as following, Incorporating omega-3 vitamins and mineral supplements into the diets of children with extreme aggression can reduce this problem behavior in the short term, especially if it's impulsive emotional form according to the researchers. They said this, immediately after three months of nutritional intervention with rich in omega-3s, we found a decrease in the children's reporting of their aggressive behavior as to said the researchers. They did a follow-up at three months and they did a follow-up at six months. So a little bit of impulsive behavior, a little bit of aggression, omega-3s or incorporating some nutritional support into the diet may be a much better route to go than the traditional drug route. Again, these are the top three health headlines of the past seven days. And I look forward to seeing you guys next Monday. And as always, thank you very much for listening. And I'll catch you all next week. See you then. Bye.